Hello everybody, um, it is Monday morning and I am having a nice productive morning actually. It's about 11.30 now and today is a special vlog because it's the last vlog of Vlogist. It's the last video of Vlogist. I can't believe it's already over. August went by so, so quickly. Um, I do have a bit planned today because I have a video that usually goes up on Wednesday so I am going to be filming one more video apart from this vlog um, to go up on the first day of September. So this weekend was a little bit more relaxed um, and I feel like once vlogist is over, I'm going to take some time to have to readjust to my old schedule, which felt busy before this month, but after doing this month of daily videos now, I feel like it's going to be a bit slow actually. Which is good because that means that I'll have more time and like mental energy to catch up on some stuff that I had to put aside for this month and also to just take on new projects too because I do have some new ideas that I want to implement. So this morning I've just been finishing up a small amount of editing and I scheduled the video and posted a um, brand collaboration on Instagram so quite productive this morning. I have a bare face as you can see and I have been drinking some coffee. Um, I have been drinking cuvee coffee over the past few days which I hope I'm pronouncing that right but uh, they are a coffee roaster from Austin, Texas and I'm actually, I did a partnership recently with Trade Coffee which is like a subscription service that allows you to try out different coffees from like small roasters all over the country which is really cool so they sent me a couple of others one of them is from a roaster in Birmingham, Alabama and the other is from Seattle so I'll probably show you guys that a little bit later, but I've been enjoying the coffee a lot. So for today's vlog, I don't have much going on, but I just wanted to do kind of a recap of the month and I guess a sort of life update too with where I'm at and my plans for the channel moving forward. And thank you all so much for the really nice comments you've been leaving all month long. I've really enjoyed reading all of them and I'm hoping that I will now have time to respond to all of them too. Um, as my schedule slows down quite a bit. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'm gonna get started doing some like planning and research for the video that I'll be filming later today. And I'll definitely need to put on something to get ready. My face is looking very bare at the moment. So I will check in with you all a little bit later. Just ate lunch and now I'm going to do a bit of makeup and get ready for my video that I'll be filming today. And while this morning was quite productive, it's actually not so much after that, after lunch time. But I just got a package in, um, a UPS package just arrived and I wanted to open it on camera for you. Is that a very exciting package that I have been looking forward to receiving for the past few days. It actually got here really quickly too so I didn't have to wait too long thankfully but um, yeah I'm very excited about it. Let me just I'm not very good at speaking while doing my makeup though. Since I started working on the weekends this month every time Monday rolls around it kind of feels like a Friday or like a Saturday or something but today especially because it's the end of the month and today feels especially Saturday like despite it being a Monday <laughs> still really enjoying this lip gloss um, from Bare Minerals a Gen Nude lip gloss in the shade Hype it is very sticky though but it doesn't really wear off very quickly either, which is kind of nice. And now I want to show you what just arrived in the mail. So I just received the most wonderful order from Colorful Standard. It's like this box has gone through it. I should probably not have it on my on my bed, but I got a few things that I'm super excited about. Let me open these up. 
So Colorful Sandy very kindly reached out to me recently and asked if I wanted to try any of their pieces out. And I had actually just learned about them from another YouTuber, an ethical fashion YouTuber. And they're really cool because they do um, like great wardrobe basics in lots of different colors. They have lots of unisex styles too and it reminds me a lot of what I loved about shopping at Uniqlo. Um, you know before I quit fast fashion so I'm really excited to like find a brand like this um, because I just loved so many things on their website and the quality looks really nice too so they very kindly gifted me a few things the first is this sweater this is actually a unisex style um, so technically this is from the men's section and I got, it's a merino wool sweater crew neck style which I love in this color that is just so beautiful. It's like a nice taupe brown color. It's actually really similar to a color that I have um, of a really old H&M sweater that I wear so often and it's kind of disintegrating so now I just wear it to bed. You've probably seen it in some of my videos in my vlogs if you watch it. This one is actually made out of a recycled merino wool. It's made in Portugal. I got the merino wool in warm taupe size large. Um, and yeah, this is like the unisex size large, which I think is going to fit me nice and loosely, which is what I was going for with the sizing. Honestly, for a size large, it looks like a little bit small. Like this is a technically a men's large. And I got a couple of other things too. It was so hard for me to choose what to get on their website too because I just loved everything so much. They have like fewer styles but lots of color options, lots of like sizing options and yeah it's just that is my kind of brand. <laughs> everything is ethically made too. So these are the women's organic twill shorts. How cute are those? These are a size, I got these in a size small and they're the ivory white color. So they're like a really nice creamy off-white color and ooh, the material is so nice. It's like a like a lightweight cotton, I would say. I love the drawstring, the waistband, has a little tie inside. Um, I just love how simple these are. They look like they're gonna be really nice. Can't wait to try these on. And the last thing I got is also a unisex style. So I got this. Uh, this is the classic organic shirt in ivory white. I got a size medium too. Can you see that all right? It's quite bright over here. And you all know how much I love a basic white shirt. This one is a really, really nice material. It's super soft. Oh my gosh, and this color is just fantastic. This ivory like off-white. Um, cream color is one of my favorites. Um, I quite like it as opposed to like a stark white. I think maybe because I have like warm tone skin so it's a little bit softer on me. Ooh, I'm so excited to try these on. So they've actually very kindly given me a discount code too so I will leave that information linked in the description box along with the pieces that I was gifted and yeah now I'm going to try them on. So here are the pieces that I chose and I really love them. These shorts are so wonderful. They're nice and big and loose and they have nice big pockets too. I really like this inside drawstring. That's quite a nice detail. And they just fit so well right around that waistband here. Yeah, um, I'm definitely going to be getting a lot of use out of these before the summer is over for the last um, few like warm weeks of summer. They're just such a nice, relaxed look. I'm really into them. And then this top is beautiful. This is such a nice quality button-up shirt. So it is quite long too, so it will tuck in to my pants nicely. Um, nice long sleeves, which is why I love buying men's clothing because I have quite long arms. So usually I need like more space in the shoulders and more length in the arms. So this is perfect for me. And oh, I just love this material so much. It is super soft. I wish you guys could feel it. Um, yeah, I'm quite liking this very like big flowy outfit. Very, very cute. And this will definitely be a great piece to have going into fall. And then here is the sweater, which is also nice and long. Um, yeah, I really like how the unisex styles are like 
longer, not cropped at all. Um, it's nice and loose, lots of space and nice space in the shoulders too which is another like honestly the shoulders of sweaters women's sweaters literally never fit me the you know the seam is always like right here so this one actually fits me it is also made out of a recycled merino wool i really like these like cuff details so nice oh my gosh i already know i'm going to get a ton of wear out of this in the winter it's so nice and cozy i absolutely love this color and I forgot to mention, Colorful Standard does a lot of like um, fleece sweatsuits, matching sweatsuits, sweatshorts too. These are like the twill shorts, but they do these in a fleece material. Um, yeah, they have like hoodies, zippers, sweat sweatshirts. <laughs> um, but of course, I really loved the merino wool crew neck sweaters, as that is one of my favorite things to wear. So yeah, I'm super happy with these pieces that I got. I'm so excited to style them up with everything else in my wardrobe, but I kind of just love them on their own too. I stuck with more of like the neutrals, but they have lots of wonderful bright colors that I don't really see that often. So I'll leave these linked in the description box along with my discount code if you're interested. Hello everyone, so it is now 4 o'clock and I just finished filming my video for tomorrow. Got the little setup here um, at my desk and now I think I'm going to start the process of editing two videos so that I can stay on track. I actually wore this sweater for the video. It's a bit warm actually for today because it's it's not that cold yet, but it feels so nice and cozy. I just couldn't take it off and I just love this color so much. I have to show you the sweater that I have that's similar to this one. So this is the sweater that I wear all the time actually and as you can see they're very like similar colors if not exactly the same color. This one is from H&M and I got it I want to say like three years ago maybe four but the thing about H&M sweaters is that they kind of just fall apart and disintegrate if you wear them really often. I mean that's not true for like every H&M sweater I have. Here's another one that I was wearing earlier today. This is also from H&M and it's probably about three or four years old too. Like some of the stuff, it does last and hold up. It's just this one is um, more like, I don't know. I've like depilled it a little bit too so it looks nicer, but it's just become a bit like thin and I can kind of feel it like stretching apart. So I usually wear this to sleep because it is like thinner now. So it's actually quite comfortable to wear to sleep in the winter and just to wear around the house in the morning when I first wake up when it's a bit chilly. So this, this I guess is the replacement sweater for this one that I can actually wear outside because it's nice and thick and warm still. Um, yeah, I just thought that was kind of funny because when I ordered this one online, I didn't realize that the color was so similar. I actually thought it was going to be a little bit lighter, I think. Um, yeah, but clearly I'm a fan of this color. But anyways, I thought I would do a quick recap of Vlogus since this is the last vlog and the last video of the series. Um, I have really appreciated all of the really lovely comments that you guys have been leaving on the videos. And for all of you who have been watching every day, like I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. It really means so much to me. And you all have been extremely supportive of this. Pretty much everyone I've talked to has been very, very supportive of Vlogus. So I really appreciate it. Um, and and also, going forward, I feel like I've learned quite a bit um, from this Vlogist experiment, which it definitely was. So when I started Vlogist, my schedule was kind of to um, change up the style of video every day. So I did vlogs, I did fashion related content, um, kind of like content creator videos. Um, or like productivity and organization videos. I did beauty and a, like a lifestyle video. And so I'm curious as to like which ones and which topics you all were really interested in seeing more of going forward because if I'm just looking at like numbers of views, um, clearly like the fashion content does a lot better on my channel and, and so I assume that's what a majority of you like to see the most 
And I do enjoy making vlogs, but it's not something that I'm going to consider doing regularly again, at least at the moment. Um, so my question to you is, do you really enjoy the fashion content the most? And is that something that you'd like to see more of? Because I kind of got the impression from doing vloggist that I should really be focusing on fashion content. I think maybe it's the most useful to you all. So if that is the case, let me know in the comments if you have anything you'd like to share about that. Um, and if you know, like it won't always be fashion related content from here on out. Um, if you guys are interested in like specific topics around content creation or like productivity and organization, those are still things that I care about and am interested in. So I would like to continue um, creating those types of videos, you know, just kind of sprinkle them in here and there. So yeah, let me know what you think. I've never done like beauty related content that much before other than just randomly here and there in vlogs. Um, and I don't know if it's something I want to like continue doing that much because it's it is an interest of mine But like I don't know I just feel like I don't have that much to share when it comes to like makeup and beauty stuff um, or skincare But yeah, if you have any feedback for me in terms of like your favorite types of videos or favorite type of content that I shared during vlogist, um, I would love to read your comments about that and yeah, my plan so far, I think definitely going forward, at least in September, is to just solely focus on fashion related content. And if I ever have anything interesting going on, I'll be sure to vlog it. But to be honest, most of the time, as you can tell from the vlogs this this month, um, most of the time I'm just like sitting in my room filming a video or editing a video or taking photos or editing photos. So. Um, yeah, at the moment, I'm not doing a whole lot of like interesting stuff outside. Um, thank you again, everyone who watched Vlogist and who supported me in any way that, you know, whether you left a like or a comment, I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. It means so much to me and I hope you all enjoyed this series and September is going to be fun. I have some exciting plans in the work for videos. So if you're not already, I hope that you'll consider um, subscribing to my channel if you want to see more like sustainable and ethical fashion and capsule wardrobe related videos. There will be lots more of those coming in the near future. So I'm going to wrap up this vlog here and get back to work as usual. <laughs> but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more and hit the bell icon for notifications when I upload new videos each day. Thank you all so much and I'll see you in September.